Yo, what's going on, team? Welcome back to J3 Entertainment. You guys know what time it is. It's time to continue reacting, y'all. Yes, it is, brother. Yes. And we are here with the final episode of what? Star Wars Andor, episode 12, Rick's Road. This was a road. Hey, anything with the road in it, you know it's going to be tight. This journey yeah. was one of those, you know what I mean? And I'm glad you guys stuck by us 100% on this one. I just really like the fact that we drew out this journey. You yeah. know what I mean? We didn't binge watch it. We actually really got the chance to enjoy it, serenade it, you know what I mean? Marinate yeah. it, let it keep it moving, you know what I mean? Yeah, I enjoyed the characters and other story aspects of it. Andor is like very uh, like drama-driven. But it ties and connects a lot of stuff. It's a new side of Star Wars that I don't think people were ready for. That's why nobody's really talking about it. But I really like this show. I ain't gonna lie, I've been ready for this since the whole beginning, man. The only thing this show is missing, in, in my opinion, is the fact that I like that we're getting the grounded level of it. They need to take that theme and then idea of th that idea of that and show us the Sith and the Jedi's. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Take out the political aspect of it and really go raw and gritty with it, and then you will have two amazing shows simultaneously back to back. Because I'm telling you right now, this is what we're here for. This, the theme is called Star Wars. Yeah. All Wolf and Cub. Not That's people, what you described. Not, not people talking. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. I like I like some dialogue. Saga Rare, you know, going back and forth. I'm like, That's cool. That's hot. I love it. It makes the story better. But at the end of the day, having some lasers and, and war and, and, and drones and droids fighting and just so much going on is what makes us really enjoy, enjoy the programming. March 1st. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what you talking about right now? March 1st. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So <laughs> this is this is the appetizer. We're gonna get the full course. Yes, sir, yes, yeah, sir. So but uh I'm ready, man. You ready? Yeah. Alright, let's get these headphones on, man. It's time, y'all. Looks amazing. Yeah. I feel like the ship throwing up the W. <laughs> West side. Oh boy, with their bow legged. Oh, <laughs> that's a first. That leg was over there talking. <laughs> In the history of intergalactic, though. That's crazy. There she's crazy now, man. They got her. Oh, she's gone. Yeah. I want to get changed, take a walk around the town. I'll pull an escort. Then? Hey. Looked like you were wrapping up, so I thought I'd wait. How long have you been here? I spoke to Cassian. What? He called the shop. Picked up the old box line, and there he was. Does he know about Marvel? Yeah, he does now. It was a very short conversation. Shouldn't have said nothing. Them. They're watching the Marvels. Could be anywhere. It'd be insane to come back now. I hope you told him that. I wonder what he's making. Probably, probably a bomb part, or something. Yeah, or probably for a ship or something. I can't stop thinking about this whole Marvel situation. Maybe one of these drinks right here. <laughs> for the house. I couldn't stand it. Not being there for your mom, you gotta feel for Cassian. I'd be losing my mind. You trying to get information? Yeah. It's not like he knows about it. I guarantee you, he's got no idea what's going on. Bank on that. I won't be so sure. You know something I don't? Do me a favor. Keep it that way. I look familiar. They took his dad. You know what I mean? yeah, yeah, and that's why he's doing this. He's gonna blow some stuff up. Yeah. Feel that air. <laughs> I thought you left without me. Crossed my mind. Caloris, you'd like privacy, please. Man. Tight. Whoa. You're gambling again. Nonsense. And here. It's a lie. It's total fantasy. Who's telling you this? Please. No, I'm serious. Oh. Parent, please. Who's saying Just this? don't. Driver's still listening. Of course he is. I would have... Okay. Promised. I've kept my promise. Keep your voice down. Well, you can't hear me. You tell me who's saying this and I'll tell you why. Where would I get the money? That's the question that scares me the most. She knows he's a spy. Yeah. I couldn't remember if I'd locked the door, if you'd even remember how to get here. And here I am. I was on my way to pick you up. This guy I've been watching, he's ISB. An ISB supervisor came in tonight. A woman, here, now. I was on my way to pick you up, and they left the hotel dressed like locals. Wouldn't it be crazy if, if that's her sister? Right. They must know Andor's coming. 
You did the right thing. We have to get there first. I know. Everything depends on it. I said I know. Come away from the window. Knew he was gonna show up. Yeah. It, look how quickly that's cleaned up. Hard to believe, right? 500 credits each. People don't look down the way they should. <laughs> Not us, though, eh? Eyes open. Those were his parents. Yeah. Everywhere. Oh. Chas? Down now! Tight. See, listen. <laughs> Mace would have kept barking. That's some scary dogs. I don't believe it. I'm sorry. I loved your mom. I really did. I know. Where's Biggs? Cass. Where is she? Damn. He got a rescue. He's going to. It's a pure oh, yeah. idea. Armies, battalions that have no idea that they've already enlisted in the cause. Wow. The Imperial need for control is so desperate because it's so unnatural. Tyranny requires constant effort. It breaks. I know this. The day will come when all these skirmishes and battles, these moments of defiance will have flooded the banks of the Empire's authority, and then there will be one too many. Remember this. Try. We've loosened air traffic, as you requested. Pulled back our uniform patrols, relaxed our curfew. We've baited the trap and opened the door. What time is the funeral? Well, they asked for midday. We pushed it back two hours. They slowed down Damn. a bit after lunch. <laughs> That's crazy. In the funeral area? Right there. That's our box. We're aligning them half a brick's road for one block. New mission. Your control positions here, here, and here. We'll have snipers in the containment unit there. Containment, yes. Snipers, no. I want him taken alive. I want that message passed along the line. That's a tight shot, though. Stormtrooper? Yeah. That's a tight shot. I kind of took him seriously in that moment. That was, mm -hmm. that was pretty crazy. We need a movie where they're less disposable and more threatening. I hope we see that one day. Yeah, see them uh, build their ranks up. Yeah. Me the most. Same for Ryan style. Mm -hmm. Was she more angry about him lying or the possibility of gambling debts? Hard to say. Krieger, you're missing it. Keep listening. How many intact? They're still counting the bodies. Damn. It's over. They walked right into it. It was over before they started. Prisoners? Not today. I just wish I had been part of the conversation, sir. This wasn't a dialogue, Deirdre. Today it was about wiping the taste of Aldani from the Emperor's mouth. Find access. Nice. It should have showed the cold air coming out. That would have been high. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's cool. Now, what if that was a transformer? Right. Oh, that looks familiar, too. <laughs> Didn't uh, one of the Sith uh, have one of those? Uh, Dark Maul had one? Yeah. Yeah. Master, what was that? <laughs> was that a Sith? Let's get out of here. <laughs> he was sweating. He scared the hell out of Qui-Gon Jinn. <laughs> Never fought nothing like that before. That was one of the realest scenes ever in Star Wars when, Mace, when, when Dark Maul showed up. That's not him. Sir. The big man. We've been played. Where is he? Underground attack. tight they got their ways that's dope i wanted her to live with me i know i came together she told me i couldn't get back you shouldn't be in our cash but the last time i saw her we argued don't i told her i was coming back stop she told me you'd say all this none of this is his fault it was already burning he's just the first spark of the fire he knows everything he needs to know and feels everything he needs to feel and when the day comes that those two pull together he will be an unstoppable force for that was tight straight memory tell him i love him more than anything he could ever do wrong damn the violins ain't making it no better he's about to do something major Street's clear. Hurry up. Vicks, we still got friends in the hotel she was alive three days ago why are they keeping her she must know something we can't just leave her there tight you're gonna take on a full garrison you miss her. i'll take care of marva 
like Skipper and Gilligan. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Get out of here, buddy. Little buddy. They really do, though, right? <laughs> Scar Guard coming as Mr. Howell and Johnny. <laughs> that would be amazing. Dude, that'd be dope. That's for those out there. That don't, we're talking about Gilligan's Island, y'all. Yes. This is Gilligan's Island. Golden age. We're a lot older than we look. <laughs> yeah. A three-hour tour. <laughs> it was across the... It was across the <laughs> <laughs> they could have left at any time. Hey, we should just do a reaction to one episode of that. That'd be fun. And that'd be the end of the show. <laughs> like, literally. <laughs> All they had to do is just go across. They wouldn't even that far. He reminded me of that comedian that just passed away. Mm -hmm. I can't think of his name right now. Any luck? They all showed up in the same spot? They seem mm -hmm. to think so. Where with that kid with the bomb? Yeah. There's an ISB supervisor in town. This is good. How is this possibly good? They'll do the hunting for us. They'll want him alive. They'll find him and we'll kill him. We just need him dead before they start asking questions. How long do we have before the festivities start? A few hours. You got two teams coming out the Andor. Yeah. Unique, but uh, nah. Yeah. What's going on? I'm not sure. Everybody's showing up. World War is about to happen. I like that. Oh, it's coming together now. <laughs> yeah. I take my comment back. I like how this is building. This is dope. I don't think Cassian realized he has actual help here. I don't know if he got help at all. I think they could both. I think everybody has some a vendetta, and they're all gonna show up, and the strong gonna survive. Somebody's gonna play the field. They want him to question him. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, Skarsgård. I can't think of his name right now. Yeah. He wants him to end him, so he can't tell what he know. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's a problem. I'm glad he saw that. Double the reward. We found him. I want twice as much and a ride out of here when it's over. Where is he? Pretend you're arresting me. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Hey, what do you think you're hey, doing? Malcolm X, though. What are you doing? Back. Tears dropping. So, she's here. Shoot. He said, Oh, no. That's how everybody know you and, and, and they cool too. Yeah. Damn, we got a Tupac Michael Jackson situation going on. <laughs> My name is Marva Carassi Andor. I'm honored to stand before you. I'm honored to be a daughter of Therix. I'm honored to be worthy of the stone. Strange. Fears if I can see you. I was six, I think. First time I touched a funerary stone. Heard our music, felt our history, holding my sister's hand as we walked all the way from Fountain Square with their truth. And now I'm dead, and I yearn to lift you, not because I want to shine or even be remembered. It's because I want you to go on. I want Ferrix to continue. In my waning hours, that's what comforts me most. But I fear for you. We've been sleeping. 
We've had each other and Ferrix. We kept their engines churning, and the moment they pulled away, we forgot them. Because we had each other. We had Ferrix. But we were sleeping. I've been sleeping. I've been taken away from the truth I wanted not to face. There is a wound that won't heal. At the center of the galaxy, there is a darkness reaching like rust into, every, into everything around us. We let it grow, and now it's here. It's here, and it's not visiting anymore. It wants to stay. The Empire is a disease that thrives in darkness. It is never more alive than when we sleep. Ooh. Hey, she's exposing everything. Turn this off now! Right. Perhaps it's too late. But I'll tell you this. If I could do it again, I'd wake up early mm. and be fighting. Well, that's These good. bastards <laughs> from the start. You should have never did that. Fight the Empire. Woo! Woo! <laughs> it has begun. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> he should have just let that ride. Yeah. I wouldn't have said it was nothing. Disrespectful, yeah. I wouldn't have said nothing. He broke their spirit by doing that. Oh, Jack Ryan moves. Mmm. Okay. Man, let him throw. Let him throw. Look, look, look at the coward. Look at the coward. Yeah. Now holding the line after that. The one that started trying to run from the fight. Yep. Biggs, you climbed over a wall. We gotta get out of here. My boat is here. Was well, she great? Oh, oh! There's no one out there. Come on. <laughs> Don't get angry. Man, they got her. Oh, she can't get out now. Now you hear that drum? Tom Cruise taught her how to run. <laughs> and or dead record. Look at this coward. It's a big boy right there. <laughs> With the helmet. Okay. Come on! <laughs> Captain Ahab. Down an old lady. Snap oh. the neck, bro. Got it. Woo. He took a piece of that, though. I like that. He felt that. Yeah. Family, right? You. What? Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. That's a clean one. They'll yeah. never suspect who did that. Figured it out. Damn. Hit, they hit, they Woo, hit her with a rock. They got Ellen, y'all. <laughs> Troopers putting in work. Should have stayed in that ship. So, you That's how you walk out like a hero, though. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> you got his friend and everything. Like, yo, let's get out of here. Ah. This is this <laughs> Game. This is madness. He gave him the kick. This is Andor. They got her like zombies, bro. All right, I got her. Get your ass out of ferret. <laughs> <laughs> Get in there. Who picked the gun up? Oh. I saved her. You. Jude Law. What? You oh. in trouble. Oh, you're like a real hero now. <laughs> uh oh. There it is. Moment Power of truth. 
tower is yours. You don't have to. <laughs> the power is his. And that's how I met your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Back in my day. Yeah, he got the hell out of my <laughs> He said, I'm out. Bleeding. It's fine. That's blood. It's not mine. Woo. Tight. Come on, guys. The field gauge said zero. Do you want to come up here and see? Bang the gauge, Jet. Just give it a whack. It flies. Pull it! Pull it! This is tight, man. Give me those. Now go. Oh, I can catch the end. <laughs> Help her off. Let's get moving. He came and saved the day, bro. Yeah. He's the beacon of hope, man. <laughs> Remember that face. You know, Kelly? Stay low all the way to far side sea. The moment you get over the water, you climb. Straight home, full pump, hand throttle, no cons. Yeah. You're not coming. Not today, B. I never got to see you. Take care of Vix until I get there. I'm counting on you. You always say that. <laughs> and you always come through. Get goosebumps here. off a damn droid. Yeah. <laughs> that was tight. He saw everything. Oh, he was there for everything. Kazim will find that. I will. That droid is part of the family. That's his family. Yeah. I'll find you. Nice. Go. Good luck. And the droid was withholding the information. He saw the mom die. He was holding the house better down. Better than R2D2. Yeah. R2D2 shutting down was, for days and years man, and junk. He got all the intel. Uh huh. He delivered the message, started the war. Yep. <laughs> started the war. It did everything. He stayed low when everybody was shooting. He didn't get up and, yep. oh dear, what's going on? Now he stayed right low, there, bro. <laughs> he's right there with it. Yeah. He finally figured out to do what is necessary. <laughs> I won't kill you. They should make a movie just on him. <laughs> There it is. Okay. She brought a sign. She gave her daughter up, though. Yeah. I need that second season right now. Man. Prepare for evac. Full stealth. He on that ship. Got him. You came here to kill me, didn't you? It all make it easy. I will now. What game is this? No game. Kill me. Or take me in. No! Oh. No. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. No. Bro. Jake. Bro. <laughs> Why? Bro. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why they do that to me? Oh my gosh. Oh man. That was tight. Fire. I think I think we have some end credits though, because I, I kinda like I'm going like this. Okay. And I see something. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna let, let it ride, but Okay. Damn. Epic. <laughs> Epic. Woo! Put the headphones back on. Yeah, Just kinda yeah, okay, kinda bro. kinda. I'll, 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 Kind of get ready, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, we we still here, y'all. We still here. Get right to it. I was like, at least give me a fight or something, Bruh. When he when he grinned, yeah, yeah, he was yeah. like, I finally found the man I need to lead my team. Yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. No. Oh. Oh. The beginning of it. There it is. Wow. Which leads wow. into Rogue One. Which leads into Rogue One. Yeah. Tight. Man. That was the, All right. Was yeah. The, hey, you know what? Where that second season two at, man? Seriously. You know Let's give uh, a round of applause for it. <laughs> 12 dope episodes. Every episode hit. Epic. Man. So Perfect. Let me see. So 
We got Wednesday hit yes. and door hit all the way through. Yes. Hey, man. Look like they're getting their stuff together, man. Hollywood's kind of realizing what we're looking for, what we've been looking for, man. So keep this momentum. Writing and directing is on a thousand. I, I, I like the, the televised of Star Wars that we're getting. Yeah, I don't feel like nothing's really crammed. Like every episode, every arc, every character had time to breathe and develop. I think they kind of found their foot into a degree with certain with certain shows. Like, yeah. And uh, it's it's unfortunate and it's a shame because no one's talking about this show, man. And uh, it's delivered on everything from ground up. You, you know, it, it just it just Weird. really breaks down for me personally how, how, how people think now. This is a type of show that you want to sit in the house with your family sure these are family shows this is great entertainment where you can sit down with the old folks the young folks and y'all sit there and y'all watch and y'all talk about what y'all watch god yeah. damn yeah. and i think that's why a lot of people are not talking about it because people forgot how to really be kind of with the the word i think it's called human yeah you know what i mean it's always it's me everything me, at me, once me, me. Nah. i saw it first it's over i know more than you do and then you got all the information instead of let me spoil the, it for you yeah let the episodes just be like weekly let me tell you time. how let me tell you how how yeah. you suck and and i'm better yeah right. ah throw it all away yeah. andor hits star wars andor is what we've been wanting and all they gotta do is elevate that with the jedis and the sith lords yeah pretty giving much giving us a grounded story no one's truly a star Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like Star like, Wars is the main. Like attraction. Diego did his thing, man. It, yeah. It's about him. Yeah. But but everybody got time. But though. everybody got time. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. I, I could sense there's no contracts involved in this series. My actor needs to have a lot of screen time because I like he, that. Here's a big time movie coming out. Right. Nah, if his actor's not part of the story like that, he ain't in this episode. Yeah. <laughs> and that's fair. Straight yeah, up. Yeah. I'm loving this. Star man. Wars is the main character. Yeah. But you know how we do after we finish the series, man. We got to go ahead and get into a quick review for you guys to, so you guys can know exactly where we stand with this series. So, Ronan, you ready to go ahead and review this movie? This I'm show? ready, bro. Yeah. Because it was like it. a movie, though. But you yeah. like this show? Absolutely, yeah. All right. So, for those that's new to that idea, let me explain how we like to review shows and, and movies. Uh, first thing first, we give you guys the good and the bad. You guys can check out what you guys believe our favorite scene if you watch the reaction. Yeah, but there you go. we're going to give you guys a great. So, Ronan. Yeah. What's good about Andor, bro? I'm going to say, uh, you know, just taking inspiration from uh, other classic sci-fi stuff. Uh, it's very grounded, very street level. And uh, it gets back to the, the story-driven, character-driven Star Wars. Uh, it feels original. And uh, some things kind of felt familiar. And I just really think it came down to uh, the characters and uh, really the writing. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of that, and we don't hear that often in Star Wars. And I will say, uh, the showrunners and creators, uh, Dan Gilroy and Tony Gilroy, really are on that level of uh, Favreau and Filoni. Yeah. Give, bringing something new and bringing a new energy back to Star Wars, bringing Star Wars back to base, bringing it back to that originality, and uh, going back to that story-driven stuff, uh, building to things again. Like I said, that was familiar, but not so familiar. Like giving answers to what we wanted to see as to why this occurred. Yeah. Andor is really like building the puzzles to the, the Lego that we've always, you know, been watching and learning and like playing around with like mm -hmm. we were in that sandbox and that's another testament to these shows yeah just going back and uh, giving us the information but also giving us the details too as to why it occurred uh building star wars and making it fresh again so that we can have some kind of continuity to go you know weave in and out in between what we already know versus what we don't and that's the best best thing about this i agree with you 100 for me man one of the yeah. best things about this show is the suspense level of it yeah. every episode hits in a certain level where you're so in you're so uh, invested in the show it feels like you're how can i say it you're the watcher all right yeah For those who don't know what a watcher is he's a character in the marvel universe who watches everything and he he lives it but he can't he can't interfere with it so you feel like you're watching an actual event that makes sense right, right. and it and it just sucks you in and and, and ladies and gentlemen, it's so hard to to not you know commentate on a show like this because you're in it. You're like, yo, and I'm glad you're here because you take me out of it. Like, yeah. not in a bad way, but where I can, like, I don't, I don't, I guess my, my morality, I don't want to be rude. Right, right, right. I'm not saying that until you like, yo, so I'm, I'm yeah. going to say something. It's a genuine reaction yeah, I'm on like, both ends. I'm you know in what there, saying? like, yo, like, so. And then you get your little icebreaker every, yeah. every now and then, and but, then it's back to the story. But, and and you're, yeah. you're so invested in it, and it just sucks you in. Right, right. And then it spits you back out, and you're like, oh, wait, yeah. no. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all gotta wait again. It's a lot of that. Yeah, yeah. That's that's. I think that that's great. Show. Like how many how much how many times do you say like no don't do that oh what that's it yeah yeah because you in 
I will also say that, you know, with this show, it's cool because the extended universe is a thing now. And I like that they're bringing in characters from the cartoons and from the shows, from the main books and things like that, Star Wars Legends and stuff like that. And then we're also getting a history breakdown. If you notice with the newer shows and then kind of the prequel movies, you're starting to see more characters show up in animation and in the televised stuff, yeah. kind of keeping their arcs going. So. What they're basically doing is they're not telling you. They're just showing you like, hey, this character is going to be an important factor. Mm -hmm. Learn about them. Mm -hmm. And the more they keep, they keep showing that character for a reason. Different characters too. So yeah. I like how they're doing that. If you didn't catch him here, you're going to catch him in the cartoons. If you didn't catch him over here, you're going to see him in the movie. He mm -hmm. might be in the game, but he's popping up. He and she is popping up for a reason. I like that. Yeah. And it's like, okay, I, I need to know who this is because obviously they're important. So uh, that's also a cool thing. I, I guess I give you my last, my last go around with the, the goods. Basically, I love the acting in this show. The acting is phenomenal. Everybody put their a whole ass in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they did their thing on this one, man. It is what we call great cinematography, great acting, great directing, great dialogue. It's yeah. just all there, and it means something. Yes, sir. You know, you. I actually, I'm in the mix with it. I'm feeling the emotions. I felt the emotion when Mom's passed away. Yeah. You know, yeah. I felt the emotion when Cassian found out. I felt the emotion. When I, I can't think of Ellen DeGeneres and uh, yeah. uh, Billy from Power Rangers, uh, David Yoss, <laughs> sitting there looking at each other in that right, moment right. of like, yo, like there was relief and passion and and, and envious and, and gratitude. And yeah. then, you know, it was all in one. I'm like, Whew. you know what I mean? I, I felt it. I, I felt I felt the little boy when he threw that bomb like, yo, like. You took my dad, bro. Like, yeah. The I way they to... celebrated the, the legacy of the parents, though, the family and stuff, like, they, they made spectacle out of it. Like, it was dramatic and suspense, and then it built up to a war. Like, everything that that speech had came out of, it kind of brought everybody together that, that lost something, but understood people that lost something. So, it was, like, divisive in that sense, but everyone understood. Like, Andor really put his time and he put his blood, sweat, and tears out there when he was hustling and working and things like that. So that war meant something. It didn't just pop off. They yeah. were building it up. Yeah. And he came back home and then it happened. He came back home. Yeah. And and, and when they was yeah. on the prison, bruh. Yeah, yeah. And and, and I, I felt it, man. I felt, man, bro, I, I felt this series. I yeah. felt it, man. And, and that's some of the best cinema, man. It's like listening to music. And people, when you truly listen to genuine musicians and, and, and listen to their art, you feel it, feel it. And I, yeah. I felt it with this show. I felt the art of it. And that is one of the best rewards watching this show. What you got that's bad, bro? Bad. Okay. It ain't done. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm going to be honest with you, man. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I, I, was in, I was engaged. So if that's, hey, sue me. For me, personally, yeah. this show might not be for everybody, but it will be for everybody. This this show is ahead of its time. And it's crazy because this show is ahead of its time. Yeah, yeah. But it's in the right time. But it's giving you back in the daytime. Mm -hmm. So it's have all these elements and it just depends on where you fit in as a viewer. And I feel that this show with the proper marketing will be a show that lasts forever. This is going to be a Perry Mason type idea oh, yeah. moving forward. Like you can go back and watch it and still get a kick out of it. You know what I mean? Like it, it might not be cinema based at that timeline 30 years down the line. But it is one of those shows that work. With me saying it, there's really no bad. The bad will have to do with yourself and how you view it. Some people might say it's slow and they're not into slow programming. That's cool. I think I think we all were like that once in our lifetime. Yeah. But we had to elevate our viewing experience and grow out of that. You know what I mean? It's like being a kid. Like, yo, like, who really wants to be in church? Right, right, right. But you grow up and you understand it and it becomes that adventure you, or, or that journey that you desire. So I, there's no bad for yeah. me neither. Yeah, you understand the necessity of things. And yeah, you just understand why things are important. And why, why the family did, has you doing these things like repeatedly? Like yeah. there, there's a reason. There's an importance behind it. Absolutely. So yeah, that applies to television and movies. All, the, all those things. Yeah. Now we usually give our favorite scenes, but you guys could tell us what our favorite scenes are because you guys followed us during this journey. So I would love to see in the comments down below on the Patreon and on YouTube what you think our favorite scenes were. Now, Ronan, I ask you, man, you have high praise for this show. Yeah. And you guys know how we like to do our reviews. We do stars. You know what I mean? One okay, through five cool. stars. So, yeah, yeah. Ronan, out of one to five stars, what do you give the show and door? I give it five stars, man. Woo! Right off the bat, yeah. I, I got everything I needed. And then new stuff and more. So, yeah, yeah. You know, the writing, directing, all those things. A1. Uh, acting was great. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like the guest appearances. I just, I like the scenery. I like the action. Like, it just, uh, it brought a new energy, man. And uh, back to basics in it. 
Makes me want to go back and revisit some of the old stuff and uh, watch some of the newer cartoons. I want to dive into the world and, you know, based on the information that was presented and the way it was presented. Yeah. It was very tasteful. I loved it. I'm going to tell you one thing about this show, man, that I really love about it. And I like just going in and going out, popping me in, popping me out. Honestly, it makes me want to take notes watching this show. So much going on, these names, these different characters. I want to learn so much about them, like you said, man. I'm going to give Star Wars Andor five stars. Nice. It's a perfect show. Perfect. Perfect show. It, 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 you can't even knock it because they're new characters. Yeah. It's a new world. It gives you some familiar scenes, familiar shots, like the, the final shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's its own thing. So you don't have much to judge on. No, no, when they didn't. No, you can't do that. So yeah. you're allowing them to tell a new story. And I think that's where Disney needs to really, really dive in. Keep pushing and, and, that. And yeah, you yeah. still had multiple elements of inclusive behaviors, inclusive colors, you know what I mean? You you got all of that in the show. It, yeah. it brought it to life, you know what I mean? So you can't nitpick on anything. You really got every element that you that people desire in this world in this time of day, but you got it properly done, organically done. This show, five stars across me. Sure. There it is, man. But guess what? It's not about us. It's about y'all. Post your comments down below. Let us know what y'all thought about this episode and what do you give this show as our overall? And feel free to express your opinion. If you didn't like it, you didn't like it. If you loved it, you loved it. It's all love. We are not here to hate on one another. We're here to build a family, a community of film goers and TV goers that are just alike, that care about cinema, and who don't care about cinema. But at the end of the day, we're here because of cinema. That's what it's all about. Uh, and also put your grade down. I want to know that. Yeah. Um, if you want to see a full-length reaction to this episode, make sure you dive in and join the Patreon team. I want to see y'all there. <laughs> it's time y'all you're missing out if you haven't signed up you're missing out if you're new to the channel go ahead and press that subscribe button thumbs up this video don't forget to share instagram facebook and twitter also follow us on instagram and twitter i'm j3 running showgirl Woo! ninja assassin 100 000 subscribers guys we're coming y'all